Hello and welcome back to a new video tutorial from Iron Software. In this tutorial I would like to give you a short overview over the possibilities of the Falloff tool and its new gradient function coming with version 6.1. The Falloff tool is a shader providing an RGBA output which can be applied to other shader inputs of materials and 3D objects. The Falloff tool basically blends two colors based on the camera incidence angle. Like here in my first example, blending the red color into a green one. Additionally, to the RGBA controls of the face on and glancing color, you have also controls for varying the opacity and a fall off control for altering the gradient itself, which basically applies a gamma correction to the input gradient. Instead of blending two plain colors only, you can also blend other materials and textures using this tool, like in my next example. Adding a new follow tool to the comp, applying the textures to the face on and glancing material inputs, and using the UV map tool connected to my mesh, you can see how the textures are applied to the object. Like in the example before, you can also use the same controls for fall off and opacity here. New in Fusion 6.1 is the option to use a gradient control instead of blending two colors only. The gradient control is basically the same as the one found in the background tool. This allows you to set colors not only at the start and end point of the gradient, you can also create color keyframes along the incidence gradient itself. So you can create rainbow effects like in this example here. In the next example, I would like to show you how you can use the gradient to create some outline shaders or cartoon-like shaders. Creating a step gradient for a toon shader is very easy. Just place some color inputs along the gradient, change the colors of them, and while you're doing this, you can um, watch your results in real time in the viewport. In the previous examples, we used the follow tool to define the diffuse color of the 3D geometry and its applied shader. But we can also use it to control other shader parameters, like the reflection intensity of a reflect node. Let's start with a blind material and insert a reflect tool between the output of the blind node and the shader input of the 3D object. In the next step, I connect an environment image to the reflection color material of the reflect node and set the reflection intensity to a constant value, like this one. Since I want to control the reflection intensity by the follow tool, I connect the output of the follow tool to the reflection intensity input of the reflection node. Like all the other single channel input of a material, the reflection intensity reads from the alpha channel of its input. So I use the channel boolean material to copy the red channel from the follow tool into the alpha channel. And now the reflection intensity is controlled by the gradient defined in the follow tool. You can now play around with the values a bit to see what it does and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, thanks for watching and see you next time.